Hallelujah. Who has the final say? Who has the final say? Oh, 
in certain lives that must not continue beyond tonight. Therefore, raise up your voices like fire and like thunder. Say every prayer arrow that I will fire tonight shall bring me testimonies. Can I hear you shouting that? Your voice is not loud enough. Your voice is still not loud enough. In the name of Jesus. Every prayer arrow that I will fire tonight shall bring me testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for tonight. Thank you because you have told us that in the warfare of tonight some long term warfare shall exist no more. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, lay your hands upon us tonight in Jesus' 
mighty name we pray. Before you sit down, I'd like you to prophesy into the life of seven persons. Say, my friend, the finger of God shall arise and rewrite your family history. In the name of Jesus, say to seven persons, Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't sit down yet. Am I Joko? And this is quite prophetic. You need to make sure you prophesy unto the life of 11 people say my friend the council of diviners assigned against you shall run mad in the name of jesus can say to 11 people The Council of Diviners. Assign against you as a matter of necessity. Shalom Mad. Make sure they are 11 in number. Have your seat now. God bless you. Hey, Joko, and listen to me very carefully. There is a gathering where mercy and compassion is an alien word. There is a gathering where wickedness is the order of the day. There is a gathering where you cannot belong unless you are wickedness personified. There is a gathering where their specialty is cruelty and destruction. That is a gathering where they have doctorate degrees in destruction. That is a society. 
that is made basically for destiny destruction. Ti won gbe kale oju se re kan ti o si ni ko ma pa ayomorun. That is a gathering. Ipejo po kan wa where nobody mentions the words kindness. Ninu eti eni keni ki soro sisa anu. That is a gathering. Ipejo po kan wa where any agenda they draw up is to destroy. To je pe gbogbo eto ti won ma nko kale lati pa nkan run ni. That's a society. Egbe kan wa where death nibiti iku destruction iparu manipulation aida ida demotion irenisile limitation ikeniku stagnation idanigun is the order of the day je oju se ti won they distribute those things awon ti won pin ni be niyan that's a garden ipejo pokan wa where destiny wastage is in their blood to je pe fifi ayan mo sofo o nsan ninu eje won that is a garden where they burst out in joyous laughter when someone is suffering. There is a garden which is an evil parallel judiciary where they judge right as wrong and wrong as right. Elebi lare once it da lare lebi they make the accused to become the judge and the judge becomes the accused. Wan mo ke odaran ko di adajo once it je ke adajo ko di odaran. That's a garden where people, 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 are people are cry in sorrow day and night and the cry of the sorrowful becomes music in their ears. Ninu ibiti awon eniyan sun kun ibanuje ati ofo losun ati loru sugbon that is a garden that qualifies as the largest prison yard in the universe. That is a garden where decisions are taken to destroy to eliminate to stagnate to strangulate to rape to devour and to kill that's a garden that has been responsible for 99% of human demotions that's a garden where they specialize in star hunting and star caging. That's a garden. Whose trademark is destiny, dissection, and destruction. That is a garden. That rejoices in bloodshed and destruction. That is a garden, beloved. Where human life basically has no value. That's a garden. Where they specialize in taking the master from the horse and mounting the servant on the horse. That's a society where winners are rubbish. And fly eagles are shot down. That's a society where normal things, things that should go easily and normally are turned upside down and they become difficult. This gathering is called the Kovu. Tonight is praying to scatter Kovus. Big Badura, lati tu awon ajo aje ka. The garden is called the Kovu. Ipejo po un ajo aje la npe. We were at a naming ceremony. I was a young Christian. 
Nba ti mo je Christian ni to se gbagbo ngba yen Lohun a lo bi so mo loruko kan Nemi ceremony If you so mo loruko and after we've done the naming ceremony Leyin ta so mo loruko ton the sabdos rice and meat some jello fry some ordinary rice o fun wa ni re si ori sirisi ateran the minister our father in the lord who came to dedicate the baby baba wa ni lo oluwa to wa so mo loruko lojo na an old man baba arugbo he was the one sitting by my side ohun lo joko se gbe mi i took my food baba gbe o je mi i prayed mo si gbadura i was saying bless this food O oh Lord, for Christ's sake, I said, Amen. I opened my eyes. I took my spoon. Then I looked at him. Father in the Lord, I found that, found that he has just started his own prayer. So in order not to look as if I was a gluten. So I decided to say, okay, let him finish his prayer. So that, so that both of us can start eating. At the, at the same time, all of a sudden, he read someone. read some two. Read some three. He went to some seventeen. Seventeen to twenty-seven. Only David Keta did not go. Only David Ah. Others were almost finishing their food. Look, Baron, you could have heard them. What time? They went on. What to test you? Ah. Went on. Don't move. Only David me. Psalm one forty nine. Only David Keta did not. His hand was still on the head of the food like this. Oh, why you are lowly? And he was praying. Pray on that food. But it all you want to watch it, what you want to watch what you want to watch what you want to 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 what you want so I started eating. I said, Daddy, sorry. Why, Baba? Emma, be no. It's food. Food. Jebi on journey. You want to bless. Leve ya si mi mo. Why did you? Why did you read all this? Kilo wa di di. Boko ni da vidi wa ko ne pate tu yen. And how come you have memorized? Oti wa di tete ha go go adunu sa mu isori. Look at me. Ask me. What year? I started primary school. I said, Daddy, which year? I started primary school at the age of 21. He said, his, he said his father had 62 children. None of them could read and write. Make his own father. They can't. They took them to school. They were absolute failures. After the teachers were tired of beating them, they sent them home. It was then he met Christ. He met Christ at the age of 20. And he prayed one of the prayers we're about to pray now that night when he prayed that prayer said he had a dream he saw all the 62 children in the family male and female inside a gathering and there were people surrounding them. And when you see you walk up, and one by one, lay your cock on, they shave their head. What's the fire you want? And then, let you know, they now boil palm oil. One walk a poop, poop. They were putting small, small drop on each person's center of the head. One walk ta a poop, poop. They want to go, dear, dear, see how we get the cock on. And they were crying for pain. And the vision cleared. 
and he had the voice of the Lord. All the glory of all of you have been taken away in the covenant. What is that? They have put hot oil on your brain to boil your brain. What if you have to that is say so the boy brain, brain cannot function well. So, but today I'm going to deliver you for the first time in his life. There was earthquake in his head. And from that day, he could read something and understand. That happened when they found Christ at 20. And I started primary one at the age of 21. The wickedness of the covers. Can you raise up your right hand? No, I want to raise okay. And pray the kind of prayer this man prayed that night. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Scatter every covenant assigned against my life. Somebody ought to be praying this with anger. In Jesus, let me pray. Lord, for Jesus, have your seat. We're just warming up. As in Baradino, we've not started this prayer. I think Baradura, warm up. That's the prayer that our Father in the Lord prayed that night. I do not need Baba one, no Lua. I saw what went wrong. I know another father in the Lord. There is a particular section in the hospital where he lived. Anybody that they know will not survive. That there is nothing to do. He just consign them to die. There's a particular word they put them. This daddy said they went there to pray for one of the sons of the members of the church. And that as he closed his eyes, I started to pray for that boy. God opened his eyes. He said, everybody in that world. He saw them naked. And they, they were hanging them. All over. Some with the hand. Some with the leg. Some with the stomach. They were hanging. Upside down. And God said, Every, everyone here. This is a prisoner of one coven or the other. Son, prophesy against the coven to release these prisoners. The daddy left what he was praying for. And I went to the center of that word. And he lifted up his voice in boiling anger. Said every prisoner of the coven. Here now, by the spirit of the prophets, be released. 
simultaneously that was chaotic cry all over the place some fell on the floor some they were biting the iron of their bed and one by one they were set free i'm praying for somebody here tonight if you're a prisoner of any covid whether you know about this or you don't know about it because there are unconscious prisoners in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the spirit of the prophet be released in the name of Jesus be released silence all eyes closed as people are Let's continue a little bit further. I still have two things to tell you. Before I now move very quickly. Some of you might have heard me saying this before. But it's relevant for tonight. A very rich man became poor because his wife had a mysterious wound on the leg that refused to heal. And he went to the doctor and the treated and treated all the money was gone. The man was tired. He now went to see a spiritualist. That one said, okay, no problem. Come here tonight. Sleep on my bed attach yourself to my back as if you are a baby at my back I will take you somewhere but when you get there don't talk and he went there attach himself to the back of the man and by 12 midnight he found that they were no longer on that bed they were at the front of a big rock and the rock opened they went in when they got in they found that the place was scanty it was not time for the COVID meeting yet all of a sudden they began to arrive he didn't recognize anybody there but all of a sudden he saw his wife the wife came in and there are some people they tie down to be sacrificed for the day when the time for the sacrifice came the wife stretched her leg on the floor so it was a leg they were using as wooden block to cut things to pieces the man pinch the spiritualist yeah yeah i say shut up and they got back for the first time he knew what was happening and when he got home and found that the wound was bringing out fresh blood again. I said, I know why your leg is wasting our money. I know why your leg is wasting our money. It is on your leg they cut meat. The cobble meat. 
the wife said how did you know he said don't worry do you know that from that day the leg got healed I'm praying for somebody here if there is any device in the coven they are using to waste your money I destroy them now in the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus. Sit down. Ejoko. The last one I want to say. Ito. Before I move very quickly. Into yara koko. Sorry. Five men in the same family. I want to be married. I want to be The first one got married. Ekini shegwe yawo. He had five girls. Second one got married. He had four girls. Third one got married. Three girls. Fourth one got married. Two girls. The main one. The fifth one got married. But he married a sister who is very troublesome in the spirit that sister had looked at the whole family first one girls so everybody all girls no men no men no men and she decided that she will not follow that pattern anybody that got married in their family they normally insist that the first night should be spent in the family house the wife and the man the wife had been hearing mountain of fire messages said darling we we enter into your family house but night we are running away so they got in once the whole family said okay bye bye good night have a wonderful time when they saw that they had disappeared they enter into their car and fled fled so where they could hide and pray not only that one for one week no sex they were just nearly married they just praying she took him and for the first time a boy was born first time but right from the day that boy was born the boy cried and cried and cried and cried sometimes this small baby will cry until he loses his voice they tried everything to pacify him they did not succeed it got so bad that they, both of them could not sleep one night the sister put the boy on the floor said father I am tired tired I can't sleep this boy is not sleeping we don't know what is wrong with him doctors don't know what is wrong with him she prayed why she was just praying there all of a sudden an angel of God appeared may your angel look at you an angel of God appeared I said my daughter we must attend a meeting and she grabbed her she said they just went they passed through the sky like wind all of a sudden they landed somewhere at the front of an iroko tree they entered the angel said don't say anything 
Just look at what is happening here. When they got inside, they were people in black wrapper with horse whip. There was a baby in the center. They were all whipping that baby. And the baby was crying. And the sister looked. To the angel. That's my baby. The angel said, Yes. The angel said, Go there. Carry the baby. As he moved, they confronted her. You. 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 The decree we have issued on the family of your husband. I said, I want to follow the baby of God. You have the audacity. So you want to break it. We shall kill the baby. We are going to tell you there will be no many children in this your husband's family. The sister was shaking. But she looked at the angel. The angel said, Take your baby. So she took the baby. The angel held her again. They got back to where she was praying. And that was the last time that baby ever cried for pain. I'm praying for somebody here. Any power assigned to punish you in the coven shall die suddenly to the right in the name Amen. Abi. Now listen carefully. In Psalm 74. Verse 20. These things are in the Bible. But ignorance is a serious problem. Psalm 74. Verse 20. Have respect unto the covenant. For the dark places of the earth are full the habitations of cruelty. So that place, the Bible calls dark places of the earth. That is a cove. In Isaiah chapter 54, Isaiah verse 11 and 17, Isaiah 54 verse 11 and 17 that woman over there I feel sorry for those who are mentioning your name in the cover because your prayers tonight shall scatter them unto their solution Isaiah 54 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt. Condemn. That coven is the place of rising up against you in judgment. It's a judiciary. The judge. But the judge wickedly. In the coven there, they are wickedly, wicked, and badly. What I said is bad English, but it's very good theology. Yes, Wickedly, wicked, badly. What bad. In Psalm two, verse two. Psalm two, verse two. 
Only Davidi Ikeji, Essay Ikeji. Oh, let's read from verse 1. Why did the hidden rage? The rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. I didn't tell the when young people was on the kings of the earth. I want by set themselves. Guess a job and the rulers. I tell you, I want to take counsel together. Be my poor against the Lord and against his anointed that place where they take the counsel together is a cove the one that now breaks it open complete is prophet Ezekiel in Ezekiel chapter 8 prophet Ezekiel now threw it wide open May the Lord deliver us from ignorance. Ezekiel chapter 8. Look at what it says in verse 8. Ezekiel chapter 8. Verse 8. Then said he unto me, son of man. Dig. Now in the wall. Dig. Now in the wall. And behold, I dig in the wall. Behold a door. And he said unto me, Go in. Go in. Go in. And behold the wicked abomination that they do here. So I went in. And I saw. And behold every form of creeping things. Abominable beasts. And all the idols of the house of Israel. tread upon the world round about. Hmm. Hmm. And there stood before them 70 men of the ancients of the house of Israel. 70 of them and in the midst of them stood Jasana the son of Shaphan with every man his censer in his hand and thick cloud of incense went up then said he unto me son of man has thou seen what the ancient of the house of Israel do in the dark? Let's leave it there. That is the common. You need a hole in the wall. You need a special unveiling of your eyes to see them. In his wisdom has decided that he won't allow most of us to see them. Because if some see it, they will lose their temper. They will fight physically. And physical fight does not win any battle there. This is a very serious matter. Very serious matter. My father one day, Baba, I mean, Lord, after he had finished his night prayer, as he was about to stand up, a short creature came to him with a big club in the hand. And this short creature mentioned all his names. This, that, that son of this, that, 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 that. that. Anybody buy or more? Anybody buy? I have come Mude. from the cove. That is you are to paralyze you. That is so daro. He was still looking. See who? Big boy. He smashed the club on his right hand. Of the boom boom, the one you want to, and the thing went paralyzed immediately. Or what does he run? Let's say, let's say, and the creature disappeared. A down back pula. What did he do? You know what he? He had some water that he had prayed on. He just poured it straight on that hand. And the hand straightened again. But if he didn't have that facility, like the man of water you have now, that side they will come and say he has stroke. Most of those he has stroke. It's a bashing from the cover. 
I'm praying for anyone here. If they are beating you from that cover, may the arm beating you wither. In the name of Jesus. The coven is an invisible society. The inhabitants, their wicked spirits, and wicked satanic agents, all the forces that are opposed to light. There are slaves in the covens. If you get that, you can recognize those who are under their slavery. A coven is a coordinating center for demonic activities. It's a demonic base where planning, logistics, directives are given to demonic supervisors. To execute in their communities. That is Every coven has its own protocol. It includes times of meetings. Whether it's in the day or the night or in the evening. I'm praying for somebody there. Anybody in your family that is going to any coven, may the coven expel them now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. A coven. It's a demonic cut of judgment. They issue judgment. They can meet in the forest. In the trees. Dungles. Rocks. Shrines. Houses. And they generally have an agenda. I'm, I'm unhappy to tell you that the covens are better organized than most churches. Better organized. It's actually an official assembly they transact business. They have their own legislative powers. Every coven has altars. Which must be serviced. That's why there must always be bloodshed. Covens of darkness. There is something called coven prisoners. There is coven judgment. Coven decree. Coven assignment. Coven manipulation. There's coven design. There's coven agenda. Coven attack. There's coven execution. There's coven imprisonment. That's why they can grab a man who has a wonderful wife with wonderful children at home. Grab the one woman who has had five children for five different husbands. And when you put this woman one side, and put his own wife one side and you look at the two there is no comparison the, the wife is better more beautiful more different but he's going for this very ugly woman who is from the Kovu and you wonder how is something wrong with his brain? Nah. He's a prisoner. 
a different kind of prisoner in the cover like one girl was confessing there many years back they will buy meat in the market she will put the meat inside a private part and sleep with it then in the morning she will cut the meat cook it with soup then the underwear too inside the soup okra soup and then the dish it for the man to eat he has eaten okra soup on top of pant pant okra yes has eaten it. So having consumed it and with one or two incantations from the coven is already in prison. And you don't understand what is going on. The poor wife at home is busy fighting, tearing. He said, we can't win any battle. <laughs> I start to fight it. It's to scatter the coven and remove your husband from their prison. Here. I pray for somebody here. Any of your children that is inside the coven now, I command them to be released in the name of Jesus. Yes, I will find them out. You say, what do we do tonight? Oh, we will kill a bitch. You need to surrender your life to Jesus. If you will ever be free from COVID influence. And two, you need to get violently angry in your spirit. You need, to, you need to pray with the spirit of what the psalmist says, I hate them that hate the Lord. I hate them with perfect hatred. I hate them that hate the Lord. I hate them with perfect hatred. This kind of message is not the kind of thing you hear in churches. Because of ignorance about the matter. But know that problems cannot be solved. In the same level of awareness that created that problem. You need to pray the prayers of tonight with merciless violence. It's not plenty of prayers, but merciless violence. Rise to your feet now. My body! In the name of Jesus. This is not a day to negotiate. My support Jump out of every wicked coven. Yes, yes. In Jesus, then we pray. Lord, uh -huh. Jesus, I'm getting results. I think Rishi. Arrows from the coven. Of a lot of judge. Backfire. I love you, the world. In the name of Jesus.
Hadi alabiyo tu wa Continue, continue, continue Oh yes sir Bakapoli kotende raba In Jesus name we pray Glory God Jesus